Welcome back to Sawdust and Circuits. In today's video, we're building a project inspired by a reel I saw the other day. A woman wrapped a sheet of paper around a cutting board, slid it across a spill, and like magic, it lifted the stain right off the counter. I had to know, was this sorcery, clever editing, or just physics? Let's find out. I started by using a roll of two and a quarter inch thick calculator paper. I had some left over from a pen tester project that still under development, let's say. I designed all the parts in 3D and set some goals. No supports when printing and no extra hardware. That's what makes projects like this so fun. Pure curiosity driving the design. As you can see, the whole thing clips together with a tongue and groove system, and the handle just slides right in. Maybe one day you'll find one of these in every house right next to their lint roller. Probably not, but it's fun to dream. All right, time for the test. I'm cautiously optimistic here. We'll start with ketchup, mustard, and maybe even a little jam, because why not? We're testing this on a smooth surface, similar to a countertop or a tabletop. And wow, this is strangely satisfying. It actually works really well. You'd never know a spill even happened. Now for the real challenge, fabric. This is a cotton backing cloth. And honestly, this is what I designed this tool for. We've all been there, wearing your favorite t-shirt enjoying some wings or a hot dog loaded with all the toppings. And you drop sauce right in the middle of your shirt. Your only option? The old rub and pray method with soap and water. Not great. The idea here is to lift 90% of that spill off before it ever sets in. Then let the stain remover or detergent finish the job. As you can see, it did great. Maybe just a faint shadow left behind. So what do you think? Was this magic? Or just a clever use of tension and absorption? Would you want to see a longer test where I wash the fabric and see if there's any stain left behind? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this experiment, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.